The fiftieth sutra, the last but one, the penultimate sutra of this particular samadhi pada of the yoga darshana is tajjas samskaro nya samskara pratibandhi tajjas samskaro nya samskara pratibandhi. How beautiful the sutra is! Tajjah samskara. अन्य संस्कार प्रतिबंधी तत् ज तत् ज दट इज तत् ज प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम दट राइजिंग फ्रॉम दट कमिंग फ्रॉम दट बॉर्न फ्रॉम दट तत् ज संस्कारो संस्कार इज द इंप्रेशंस संस्कार we know that samskaras are impressions stored in form of karma in the karma shaya which we have seen earlier so tajjas samskaro means the samskaras produced anya samskara anya other pratibandhi counter stop they prevent contract so the samskaras produced by that by that means pratambhara prajna or sambija samadhis those samskaras are the remover and they are the preventer of all other samskaras this is the meaning of this particular sutra tajjas samskaro means the samskaras produced in that ritambhara prajna in that particular state of the chitta those samskaras prevent stop remove all other samskaras just for understanding simply it is something like you remove a thorn in the leg or in the foot by another thor actually this is what shri ramakrishna paramahamsa says if a thorn is in the foot you remove the thor with another thor and further shri ramakrishna paramahamsa says both thorns are thrown out so with this samskaras born out of ritambhara prajna removes the samskaras other than that and both are thrown out both are removed how beautifully such a highest dimension shri ramakrishna paramahamsa tells in a very simple manner it is like in all our normal understandings the bad samskaras are removed by the good samskaras but even this is to be removed and eliminated so tajjas samskaro anya samskar pratibandhi pratibandhi is that pratibandhan countering contracting what is contracting those samskaras are stopping they contract they prevent and they remove pratibandhi of the all samskaras which are not born which are not rose or produced from the pratambhara prajna so we all know that experiences that when we contemplate or meditate on our choice of the object so many thoughts samskaras rushing like tigers whenever we sit for meditation or for contemplation or just when you try to sit quietly so many thoughts and ideas which are us they will be rushing something like a so riot inside runs riot as we call it and they are so powerful 
they are so hidden they jump up and how to avoid or how to come out of this practice of pratambhara pratyam but that what is happens new samskaras purified samskaras tajjas samskaro of the sabija samapatti dekam and they counter these troubling samskaras or which are not connected to it or which we feel get disturbed these samskaras are washed removed prevented that the control of the will over the mind is so complete that is impossible for any external distraction to produce the slightest alteration in the impression created by the object even in ordinary life we find that if the mind is busy in thinking deeply along a particular line it's more difficult for any distracting idea to get into it when we are engaged in a job when you are so much deeply working and deeply involved we will be surprised after some time to see that no other thoughts have disturbed us there are no distractions at all they may be there but we are not disturbed we are not distracted but we are entirely focused on a particular idea or a particular object and that is what this sutra is referring and conveying but the moment the mind ceases to function under this control of the will and is in a relaxed condition then all thoughts of ideas will rush in jumping like a a flood of water flows when the gates are opened and all the object of conscience is lost this will also happen then this will also explain why spiritual teachers many of the gurus many of our own teachers many of the advanced gurus teachers they generally prescribe saguna upasana it is better to focus on a particular visible feelable transactable communicable object for the upasana and discourage from taking to nirguna and nirvikara because it is easier the mind gets focused easily and the problem of spiritual life and self realization would be all will be very easy and the path will be more clear and less thorny and less obstacles and hurdles this very important suggestion is given those ideas those samskaras those thoughts which rise from the purified mind as a process of purification they work as to understand the word i am using it they work the good works as a hurdle to the bad the good samskaras rising from the tajjaha they work as a counter to all the other samskaras anya samskaras this how this particular sutra number 50 of the first pada conveys tajjas samskaro anya samskara pratibandhi it works like a pratibandhi and let us remember this beautiful suggestion hint and a practical dimension given by maharshi patanjali in this last but one penultimate sutra of the samadhi pada let us see the last sutra om shanti
शांति शांति